guys, my name is Evelyn Kim, and for today's video, we'll be going over Wylock's third grade math curriculum. Topics we'll be going to address in today's video include addition, division, multiplication, and word problems. Let's get started with our first topic, addition. Number one, they give us the equation 500 plus 10 plus 2. Let's align the numbers vertically so it's easy for us to solve. Ooh. 500 plus 10 plus 2. 2 plus 0 plus 0 equals 2. 0 plus 1 equals 1. We bring down the 5. 500 plus 10 plus 2 should equal a total of 512. Number 2, 40 plus 4. 0 plus 4 equals 4. We bring down the 4. 40 plus 4 should equal 44. Number 7, 3000 plus 100. Aligning the numbers vertically. 0 plus 0 should equal 0. 0 plus 0 should equal 0. 0 plus 1 should equal 1. We bring down the 3. Therefore, our final answer for 3000 plus 100 should equal 3100. Last problem, number 8. 200 plus 2. Align the numbers vertically. 0 plus 2 equals 2. Bring down the 0, bring down the 2. Our final answer is 202. 200 plus 2 should equal 202. Our second topic is division, and it's asking us to divide the numbers below. Number 1, they give us 30 divided by 5. 30 divided by 5 can also be written in different ways. We know that 5 times 6 equals 30, and 6 times 5 equals 30. Therefore, 30 divided by 5 should equal 6. Let's do number 11. 8 divided by 4. We know that 4 times 2 equals 8. And 2 times 4 also equals 8. Therefore, 8 divided by 4 should equal 2. And if you haven't noticed, all these equations are somewhat connected to each other. 4 times 2 equals 8. 8 divided by 4 should equal 2. Number 12, 15 divided by 3. We already know that 5 times 3 equals 15. And 3 times 5 also equals 15. Therefore, when you divide 15 by 3, we should get 5. Third topic is multiplication, and it's asking us to multiply the numbers below. They give us the equation 2 times 4. 2 times 4 can also be referred as two groups of 4, and there are two ways to solve this. One, we can draw it out. Two groups of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. First group, 1, 2, 3, 4. Second group. Now we have two groups of 4 circles. Now let's add it all together to find our final answer. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, we know that 2 times 4 equals 8. Another way to solve this multiplication problem is through addition. 4 times 2 can also be referred as 4 plus 4. And we know that 4 plus 4 equals 8. Therefore, 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 groups of 4 also equals 8. And 4 plus 4 equals 8. Number 11, 6 times 6. Since this is a bigger number, let's draw it out. We have six groups of six circles. One, two, three, four, five, six. First group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Second group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Third group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fourth group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Fifth group, one, two, three, four, five, six. Sixth group. We have a total of six groups of six circles. Therefore, let's add the numbers together to find our final answer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Therefore, 6 times 6 or 6 groups of 6 should equal 36. Our last topic is word problems and it's asking us to solve the numbers below. Number one, Kai has 29 crayons. He breaks seven of them and loses half of the remaining crayons. How many crayons does he have left? Based off the keywords break and loses, we know that this is a two-step subtraction problem. 
Okay, let's start off with him breaking 7 of them. Therefore, we subtract 29 minus 7. 9 minus 7 should equal 2. We bring down the 2. After Kai breaking 7 crayons, he should have a total of 22 crayons left. But we're not done. Kai ends up losing half of the remaining crayons. 22 divided by 2. 2 goes into 2 one time. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 minus 2 should equal 0. We bring down the 2. 2 goes into 2 one time again. 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 minus 2 should equal 0. We have a remainder of 0 and a total of 11. Therefore, after Kai breaking 7 crayons and losing half of the remaining crayons, he should have a total of 11 crayons remaining. Number two, Lucas has 50 different books. 36 of them are red, and four of them are green, and the rest are black. How many books are black? Well, we know that 36 are red, and four of them are green. Therefore, we need to subtract that number from 50 to find how many remaining books are black. Well, first, let's add 36 plus 4. 36 plus 4 equals 6 plus 4 equals 10 we put the 1 on top 3 plus 1 should equal 4 36 plus 4 equals 40 that means 40 of the books out of the 50 are not black and they're instead red and green now we subtract 50 different books from 40 to find how many black books are there 50 minus 40 the 40 are the red and green books and our 50 is our total. 50 minus 40 should equal 0 minus 0 equals 0. 5 minus 4 equals 1. Therefore, with the remaining 10 books, 10 books are black out of the 50 different books. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.